Hello, welcome back. This is Jonathan Gardner. Let's play Factorio Hi. Season 5, Episode 36. Eliana is here with me. I said it's bedtime, so they decided they all want to watch me play Factorio. Exactly. That's what goes through our brains, Dad. I know. I can read your minds. I know it sounds impossible. So, bedtime means go play. I will just pick up all of these billions and billions of robots. Go play means go play. There's no such thing as bedtime. That's or a lot of robots. Time. Let's paint with robots. Yay! Ooh. I am painting. Oh, that's all of them. Oh well. No skin off my back, right? And here's 34 more. Hey. And you guys look like you need a charge. This is how you do it. You just take them down and put them back and they're fully charged. Too. Yep. Yep, that's how you do it. It's a lot of oil. Ah, that was a lot of oil. That is a lot of oil. I have a new idea. I'm going to use barrels. What are barrels look like? Um, they're kind of roundish. What? What? Give me an example. Like, do you have a barrel close by? That's those barrels. Oh, can you place them down? Sure. Let's actually tear this one down too. Bye bye. Are you going to use a copy of it? Hey. Waves and waves of robots. Mm -hmm. Robots like to tear things down too. They like to so, have their fun. So at uh, Young Moments today. Yeah. Um, we played this game. So sister said she bought a, uh, a small hacky sack, beanbag thing, and she like. Uh, so she said so she divided us up into two teams, and then she said like what we're gonna do is we're going to um. So one of the teams will go outside, out of the door, and then the other team will stay in the room and then hide the thing, and then they have to try to find it. And every minute she'd give a clue, but we only got one, one clue, so because we only took like a minute, a minute and 30 max. And and it, was that minutes, fun? But yeah. The last time it was our turn, guess where we hit it? Where did you hide it? We wrapped it inside of a dirty like paper towels and threw it in the trash can. It took them forever to find it. You wrapped it inside of a dirty paper towel? We wrapped it inside of paper towels that we used to clean the whiteboard with. Oh. So. <laughs> that could have, yeah. So they had the whiteboard stuff all over Don't want it, these. but we put that inside. I'll hold on to these for now. And then we put it in the trash can under some plates. time it took us forever well one time you know the rafters i guess i think that's what they're called but the trains mm -hmm. that they use to pull the thingies to make the walls i don't know what they're called do you know what i'm talking about no the thingies on the ceiling the thingamabobs yes yes i know exactly they're like what you're talking the big about. No, wooden things on the ceiling you know some of the rooms they have that curtain thing but it's not really a curtain but you can pull it so it like makes up a big, like the gym in the gym you can make it, you can like divide it up into three rooms. Okay. At the church. You know they have those white things, the like whitish brown things. Oh yeah, the dividers. Yeah, the dividers. Well, the wooden thing on the dividers that holds them up. What are they called? She called them trains. Okay, yeah, they're trains. So anyways, there's a little hole on top of the divider and it goes along the entire thing. And they have like, it's kind of weird dividers, but it's like bent and everything. Well, they like come out and then they turn and then they go to the other wall, but... So yeah. they like put it in a little teeny hole on top of the divider so we have to stand on the to get it out. But it took so long to find. And I think they did something else. Uh-huh. I don't know. That copper field right in yeah. the view kind of looks like someone's hand or a foot. It does, doesn't it? It does look like a foot. Like they're pointing down or something? They're pointing down, yeah. With the left hand? Is that, oh, I got some rubble quartz. Could you guys like give me the rest? There we go. Oh, I got ten rubble quartz. Okay. I hope there's enough power. I have an image. Oh yeah, there's plenty of power. <laughs> it's 
That's right, I'm making an insane amount of power. Shut up, switch for what? Why would I do that? Sometimes You're thinking real life. Yeah, no, in like bacterial. They like run everything through their core. So like, oh, they, they do that because if they need to like restart everything. Yeah. How come nobody's bringing me robo ports? Alright, let's just finish tearing death down. So what? What do you want to do this episode? I am trying to tear down my old um, uh, oil factory. <coughs> the reason why is that a better idea. I'm sneezing set it a up. lot more than normal. Seriously, like yesterday I sneezed a ton. A ton? That's a lot of snot. I know. I know it's a lot of snot. But Where's all my construction? I didn't robots? literally sneeze a whole ton. Because that would hurt. But remember, milk came out of Kayla's nose yesterday. Oh, that was that was hilarious. It was <laughs> disgusting. Know. And she's hilarious. like, but it hurts. And we're like, but it's so funny. <laughs> we couldn't stop She's laughing. like, stop laughing at me. And we're like, no. And then that reminds me, Dad. So you know how it hurts. And sometimes, boys are crazy sometimes. So they do things, sometimes things like that on purpose. Sometimes. So there is this thing this comic strip it was Big Nate and so his friend Teddy he's all like my talent is blowing things out of my nose Ugh. blowing milk out of my nose and he's like really? I thought you blew soda through your nose nah the soda was not an accident the milk was on purpose <laughs> that's disgusting I know <laughs> what show I mean, was this? this was a cartoon from the library well, it was a... A cartoon uh, from the library. Book. I'm glad you go to the library to find cartoons. No, I didn't... It's not a cartoon cartoon, but like a comic book cartoon kind of thing. It's Big Nate. Yeah, Big Nate. Mm -hmm. Come on, Mr. Robots! Calvin and Hobbes. I like Calvin and Hobbes. Calvin and Hobbes is fun. Here they go. There's a lot of robots. I need a couple robots. Here, I'll grab a couple. Here, give me some robots. Yeah... Did you, do you remember the, the Calvin and Hobbes, the group of comic strips where Calvin threatened to, to threatened to, uh, he threatened to flush Rosalind's science notes down the toilet? Uh, I think so. He did, it was so funny. He didn't actually do it, but... Oh, no, of course not. Like, the next time he came by to babysit, Cal Hobbes was all like, do you think she remembers the time he threatened to throw down she were do you think she remembered that last time you threatened to throw down to flush her science nest down the toilet? And Calvin was like, yes, our finest moment. And then next next clip, they're in the bed. And he's like, oh, yes, she remembers, all right. Oh, yes, she remembers. Yes, yes. Oh, that's enough. I like Calvin House because of the pictures. It's so funny the way he draws his face. Yep. He has a devilish face, his smile goes across, and it's all the way past his ears. So cool. What is? Calvin Hobbes. The way they draw Calvin. Oh. Yeah. And his feet are huge. His legs are crazy short. He's always and six. There's this, yeah. He does like, mistakes. Yeah. So there's this thing. So Calvin is all, all like, it snowed. It snowed. It snows so much. You're going to have to close down the school. They won't be able to bring the bus and everything. It's probably at least way steep. And then he's like, unfortunately, that's only a few inches. <laughs> yeah, because he's so short. Yeah. He's only six. Why are you destroying those, Dad? There is this another thing. It shows about how big Calvin's imagination is. And he's all like, it snowed. Because there's too many of them. That's why. And he's all like, it snowed. Wow, there's so much of it. It's a new ice age. Half the neighborhood is gone. 
Boom, Mol Molly Mammoths. I've never seen those before. It's a new Ice Age, Sled City, all right, no school. And he's like, one lousy half inch. And then Hobbs is all like, hey, look, the sun's coming out. Oh, wow, I've almost come full circle with my, uh... I didn't know this was connected up here. Dad! Yes? Don't... Dad, what happens if you leave them out too long? They what out too long? If you leave the robots out too long. They're trying to give you stuff, Dad. I don't care. I didn't ask them to do anything. Here, you guys can... Come here. Look at that, it spits out. They slow down if they don't have enough charge. What happens if they run out of charge? They slow down if they run out of charge. What? They don't stop ever? Let's put these guys here. Let's see, can you bottle water? I have a question, Dad. Yes? Oh, you can bottle water. Let's start bottling water. <gasps> what? Bottle you water. can? Yep, you can bottle water. Let me see. Let me see the bottle of water. No, it's a barrel of water, actually. Oh, let me lay this out really quick. I wonder, Dad. Um, don't you think it's kind of amazing your character can run around holding Dad, trains? Dad, I pulled my tooth out by myself. <laughs> like, don't you think it's kind of amazing your character can hold like 64 trains? That is kind of amazing. <laughs> he man. Oh shoot! You see what I did there? You're stupid. I'm kidding. That's not nice. I know. That's why I did it. He man. Okay. <laughs> what? She man, what is she man? She girl. Remember she, person. She, she, she woe man. She woe man. <laughs> man. All right, so let's go bottle some water. Yeah. She woe man. Dad, you know what you should get most of in your phone so why are we You know what I should get the most of? Poop. Watch how fast it goes. Watch. Daddy, you should get most of poop. Okay, I'm not gonna do those jokes, JD. So. Dad. So. Where's the closest water to the center of Dad, my Dad, you're the bus drivers. Fifty people get on the bus and. Oh, let's not do that joke, please. Please, no, 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 Dad, no we're not doing that joke. We're not this doing one's that. This hard. No, we're not doing that joke. Get please off. Please don't do that joke. I don't want to hear that joke What's anymore. What's the name of the it's other bus driver? Not funny. What? Dad, What's the name you? of the other bus driver? So, Dad. Yes. So, you're the bus driver. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. And I don't like buses. Dad, it's fishies! You're gonna... Kill! Dad. It's fishies! I don't like Kill fishies. the fishies. Dad. Kill the fishies. Kill the fishies. So, you're the bus driver. First water, bus stop, Dad. Barrel, Dad, water. the first bus stop you go to, so there's three boys that get on and oh, two girls that get, stop. get on. Next just, bus stop, five stop. boys get on, two boys get off, Please. three girls get on, and no, no girls get off. No, we're not doing that joke. Stop. So next Seriously, bus stop, and this then joke later, is like, so boring. So like 10th bus stop, there's oh, 10 bus man. stops. And then on the last bus stop. I just keep telling myself when I get old, maybe they'll pay me retirement. On the last bus stop. Maybe I won't have to starve. Dad, so is it's the last thinking, person who gets off the bus a boy or a girl? Seven. Dad. Yes. It's the last person who gets off the bus, a boy or a girl. Nah. Do you know the answer? Boy, boy, boy. It's boy. a boy because you're the bus driver. I'm not a bus driver. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm a In my partner. world, you are. Just because you say I'm a bus driver doesn't make me a bus driver. You're a bus driver in my brain. I'm not a bus driver, no matter how, ma how badly your brain works. Yeah, I have brain damage. Green damage I'm slightly damage. crazy. Yeah. Am somewhere. I really? Yeah, Ellie. I had a I had a paper yeah, the yeah, stuffy yeah. ball. Dad, am I slightly mall. crazy? No. Why? No. Are you slightly crazy? Actually, this seems to be like. Answer my question. Are you slightly? Why would I answer that co question? Daddy, Just are you? I want to know. I'm not going to tell a dirty joke. I'm trying to build a factory here. Here. We don't want to see you build you, a factory. We want to see you kill some aliens. I'm going to you, tell you a legend. No, don't, Daniel. Why? Do it, Daniel. Maybe one pump can do two, but honestly. Daniel. I'm not going to Daniel. Count. 
Okay, why am I using purple chests? Because I want them to go to the central location, that's why. Daniel's singing a song. See, this is what you guys do when you blabber on. You encourage Daniel to start talking about random things. Daniel, stop! Okay, guys. Daniel, talk calm. about math. Calm down. Daniel, do Bill Cosby. No. I don't like the Okay, so. We have 15, five, five, 15 minutes. Daniel, please don't talk right now. No. So, I'm going to barrel up the oil. Yes, do it all, Dad. Daniel, stop. Daniel, please stop, seriously. Do I have another one? Here, I want the punch axe. Okay. So then I'm going to use, here, this guy. Rocket Defense 3 is finished. Press T. Wait, Rocket Damage 3 is finished? Yes. Are you almost a Rocket Defense? No, I'm not. Leave me alone. Stop, Daniel. Daniel, Dad said stop. Seriously. Stop me. Stop, Daniel. I could probably put this here to like double duty it. You know I talk a lot when I get nervous. I know that. That's why you're talking right now. You need to stop talking. Just listen. I just want to watch, Dad. Why are you nervous? I don't know why. I know why. I need to give two presentations. And Archie has a presentation on Shakespeare and I have a Six weeks on Mexican and Concord. And I don't know how to give a presentation without freaking out. Dad, uh, remember the first time I played Factory? Because I don't like talking when everyone's watching me and expecting me to say something. Food oil is less than 10,000. Then I get really nervous and talk too much about random Let's stuff. Why didn't you make a video about talking? Oh, I just... Why did I want to make a video for it? The only problem is I don't really know how. Dad, uh, Rocket Diamond is finished. You don't know how to make a video? Well, I know what kind of video, and I know what the basic outlines of the video. I just don't know how to actually do it. Like the voice recording and how to put the Oh, this is interesting. And then I talk Why is it going so slow? Cameras. I guess these are max these have a max rate. No, the oil. You know what this says to me? It says I need to combine them together. Here. So, what I'll probably do is something like this. So, those three into one factory. I pump that together. I should have copied it. Dad, how do I give a presentation without freaking out? Um, you give a presentation without freaking out. You oh. you just do it, Eliana. You, you, Seriously, there's like I people can't. like talk about all these tricks and stuff, but there's no trick to it. You just do it. I can't. You just remember that they're not going to eat you if you fail. Okay? You're, gonna, you're fine. What? Okay? You have to face your fears. There's no shortcuts to fears. You have to face them. Okay? Maybe I should put a, a tank here or something. Daddy, there's a shortcut to fear. You just think about one thing all the time. And then you get like steak, 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 steak. Well, then you'll start saying it. Okay, so one. What about two? Yeah, it needs three. Why is it glitching out like that? It's not glitching out. Oil pictures. In the tubes. It's not. What is it doing? The oil is getting in and it's getting out really fast. Okay, so... I think it's 
I think what I'll do is just set up a bunch of pump jacks. these guys all together I think that red trick red trick or bad and then I guess one per four is the right ratio So when I get nervous, what I do is I take a deep breath and I calm down, okay? And you do I this. just do it. I just take a deep breath, calm down, and just go. And just do it's this. like swimming. If you want to jump in the water, you just jump in the water, you know? And the deep breath is to say, like, look, I'm going to be okay. I'm not going to get hurt. These guys are my friends. Even I'm if they're not my friends. Die. What do they expect me to do, you know? I can't do anything beyond my own abilities, right? <laughs> You just have to have lots of experience doing it because you're more, you're more capable than you realize. You know, you think you can only do so much, but really you can do a lot more. Okay, let's make a little copy of that. Yes, copy it, Dad. Copy it all, all, all of it. All of it. I'm gonna run out of research here. You shy now? She's crying. No, she's not crying. She's just worried. I hate you. Is to say the words and then you're done. Well, I don't really know how to start. That's why you write it down. And I can help you put a presentation together if you want help. Do you want help? Yeah. Would you like help putting a presentation together? No. What? <laughs> Just gonna. <laughs> These are your friends, aren't they? I mean, they've never been mean to you even once, have they? Have they ever been mean to you? It's gonna be great. Kayla, please stop. Let's make two more of those. So we have three hundred fifty four. Uh, yeah, a thousand is fine. Okay. So these guys are carrying it to a central location. They're getting the resources, they're bringing it to a central location. So what I can do is go down here now, in that central location. Oh, we're at 24 minutes. I think I'll set it up in the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Next episode, we're going to set up my barrel processing. And I'm going to try to set it up so that it'll balance. Um, it'll balance it so I'll get all the lubricant I want and all the... Uh, the petroleum gas. You should mine that copper on this boat. I should, but I don't need to, need to yet, so I won't do it. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys soon. Take care. Bye bye.